Welcome back to Dart 101. In this episode, I'm going to cover the string. I'll cover single or double quotes, escaping, concatenation, multi-line, and interpolation. And so to get started, I'm going to go to the trusty old Dart pad here. And this is a great way to test out your Dart skills in the sandbox. So to get started, I'm in the main method, and I covered this in the previous episode where the application starts. And I'm going to show you my letter roll string. And you can see that this doesn't error if I run the application. And so to move on, I'm going to do another string in double quotes. So I just use single quotes, so another literal string. And that is in double quotes. So this works great, and I'll show you why here in a minute. So let's get a little bit more or into it. And I'm going to use uh, single quotes. And in the print statement, and that'll print it out to the console on the right here. And so this is literally a string that can be printed out. So I'm going to run it, and over here on the right is literally a string. So let's look at the next option here. And I want to do escaping now. I'll show you how to escape characters. So I'm going to go print. I use print to show you. Let's do uh, single quotes because I'm going to go it's. Okay, whoops, there's an error there, as you can see. How am I going to escape the apostrophe? So I'm going to use a backslash, and that'll escape it. So I'm going to go, it's escaped. And I can do some spelling correction there and terminate the line and run it. Over here on the right, it's escaped um, right here. Okay, so then let's look at the next thing. Let's just do some collapsing here. And, 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 okay, so the next thing I want to do is, okay, but wouldn't it be better if I didn't have to use the backslash when I'm building a string? Let's look at that. So I'm going to go print, double quotes this time. I'm going to go, it's not escaped. And there we go. Let me run that. And we should have, it's not escaped. So that's, it's better to use double quotes when you don't want to use backslash escaping for single quotes. Okay, so that, so that covers escaping. Now I want to define a string as a variable. So let's go var message equals hello there. And this basically infers my little string, and this could be a string, but I'm going to use a var. And in this case, let's do another message as a string. And I'm going to use single quotes this time. Single or double, doesn't matter. I think that typically uh, uh, for single quotes, you're going to is the more minimalist type of view, and you may want to use those by default. So I'm going to say hi um, there instead. Okay, so another message may be the proper way to do it, or best case scenario, it, unless you need to escape and then do double quotes. Okay, so then there's another message. So let's see what happens if we print those out. Message. And we'll print out the an, uh, another message here. And we'll run the application. And here we go. Hello there and hi there. So excellent. And I might as well make that a lowercase t. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is showing how I, I could, let's say I wanted to keep the backslashes, like uh, there's the new line character and the tab character. What if I wanted to keep that? And so there's an attribute called rostering. So I'm going to define a rostering. And let's say my rostering is then R for raw quotes. And then it's new line tab just as you state it, period. And let's print that and see what that looks like, raw string. And we'll run the application. And over here, you can see that it keeps without escaping or having issues because if it was actually, let's say, let's get rid of the R and then run it and see what happens. You can see new line and the tab. So the raw string allows me to keep the characters as they are stated in the string. So that's great, raw string. That's, that could be handy. 
So up next is string concatenation. So var combine, what does string concatenation do? Well, I can say first line, and then I could say, without terminating that line, second line, without terminating that line, I could go third line. Oops. Third line. And then I'll terminate, and then I'll pr print combine. And on the right, you'll see it concatenates, which joins the string together over multiple lines. And you can see I, I would probably need to add spaces between the lines. And I'll do that, space, space. And over here, third line and second line now have spaces. So that's a nice way the compiler recognizes this as one long string over multiple lines. So there's another way to concatenate, and let's look at that. So I'm gonna add some more spaces to draw this up. And the next routine I wanna add is var uh, combine to equals, let's, let's say I wanna add it, uh, I'm gonna use double quotes, I can use single quotes in this case, and I'm gonna say, um, this is another way. Okay, so this is another way to combine it. And then if I print combine to terminate that, and I could see this is another way to combine a string together using the add addition symbol or the add sign, and that's, that. okay, so that, let's say I wanna do it a little bit more fancy. Okay, and there's another way to do it. Let's look at um, multi-line, and I'll say this is my multi-line equals three ticks, three single quotes, and no line termination, and I'll do three uh, single quotes and a line termination. And now I could go, some thing is here. And then I'm gonna print that, and let's look at how that is printed on the right. Multi-line, terminate, run. And you can see, well, oh, why is, there, why is there some spacing there? Well, that's because, let's just go over here and go Shift-Tab, oh, Shift-Tab doesn't work. So let's go backspace, and I'm just gonna remove that space from the indentation of the code. It's being ended, indented, um, from the, the syntax there, the formatter. So I'm gonna go, uh, let's go run. And you can see it moved it to the left. So multi-line basically prints the string as stated on the multiple lines there. So that's slick, that's a nice way you could build a template. And you could do uh, use expressions in that template, which I'll cover in a moment. So let's, okay, there's another way to do multi-line. And so we did three texts, and then go var multi-line two equals three quotes, three quotes to terminate. And then the multi-line is another multi, multi-line. So that's pretty easy, so let's run. Oh, I didn't add a print statement, so I'll add a print, print. And then I will go multi-line two, tab that in, run. And then there's another multi-line. Okay, nice. Okay, so let's look at string interpolation. Okay, so this is pretty cool, how you can string interpolate and Dart. So this, uh, let's define a string, name equals Brandon. Okay, and now I'm gonna add that to another string, var s equals send a message to, and then I'm gonna use the, my name, dollar sign will tell me that's a, a variable in a string. And then I wanna say, send a message today in that line. I can give it a period there, and then let's print it to see what it looks like in the console over here on the right. Okay, so excellent. You can see Brandon, my variable name here was replaced with uh, Brandon. Okay, so let's say I wanted to get a little bit more complicated and, and my expression is a little bit different. Well, I can use brackets to say there's an expression here 
uh, I can use basically some Dart syntax in here that's a little bit different than name. And I'm going to cover that in a little bit more detail in the next section. But I'm going to run this to show you that I, it's the same as it does the same replacement, string interpolation. Okay, so let's say I have an integer value and I want to add it the two there. So of S2 equals uh, the value is $10. And I'm going to change that into an integer value here in a moment. And let's print this S2 just to make sure it works. And then run it. And on the right, I can see 10. Well, I'm going to say, I'm going to do an expression here. And I'm going to go 10 to, whoops, I got caps on, to string. And now you can see I'm doing an expression in here that says 10, the integer 10, and I'm going to make it to a string, or send it, or convert it to a string, and I have $10 over here. Okay, so what if I wanted to add a dollar sign here? So I'm going to, because a dollar sign is part of the Dart syntax, so I'm going to have to backslash it to escape it, and so I do backslash dollars. So I'm going to run it, and then I have the dollar sign over there. So that's pretty easy. Basically, let's just look at that. So I have my string literal, either single or double quotes. And that's literally a string. The dynamic var keyword will consume its type by the producer through inference. And here I specified my intent by declaring the type on the, the consuming side. So the producer is a string, so then it consumes the the type string by inference as well, but I declared it at, at my intent there. So and then I have a raw string which is specified with R, and then I can combine strings, and this can be single or double quotes over multiple lines, and the compiler can concatenate them, or I can use the the plus sign or plus symbol to say I can combine strings in that way, and that's common in some other languages. And then I can use multi-line single quotes or double quotes to make a nice little multi-line. And then I can declare and string interpolate with either a dollar sign or with curly brackets. So that's nice. So if I get a little bit more complicated with an expression, I can use other ways to do it. So that concludes this video on using the string built-in type in Dart. Thanks for watching my Dart 101 on strings today. Follow me for more tips and tricks on Dart, and I'll catch you later.